Hello everyone, welcome to How to Electronics. In the last video, we discussed about Seed Sow BLE NRF52840 Sense Board from Seed Studio. We learned about the board design, specification, and pin mapping. This is the advanced tutorial video. In today's video, we'll learn about the NRF52840 application suite mobile application. The Android app called NRF Connect is used to interact with the BLE module. First, we'll read the accelerometer, gyroscope, and temperature sensor data from the internal IMU sensor. Then using the IMU sensor, we can design a pedometer. A pedometer is used to do the calculation of the steps. Moving to the further part, we'll check how to use PDM microphone on the seed board and do some testings as well. Then using the NRF Connect Android app, we'll send one or zero commands to control the LED. The Seersaw BLE board also has a port for battery connection. Thus, we'll measure the battery voltage and send it to the NRF Connect app. And finally, we'll do the most important coding of this project. This will be sending the DST level humidity and temperature data to NRF Connect app and monitoring the data wirelessly via Bluetooth. So this tutorial is going to be very very interesting. So without getting any further delay, let's get started. This video is sponsored by Altium. Altium Designer is the world most trusted PCB design system for the last 35 years. Using Altium Designer, you can create a schematic, create PCB, generate garner files and also make a bill of materials. You can create PCB design with an intuitive and powerful interface that connects you to the every aspect of electronics design process. If you want to get started with a free trial, click on the first link in the description. Welcome back again. First, let's have a short overview of these boards. These boards are based on Nordic NRF52840 chip from Nordic Semiconductor. One of the boards is called as Sao BLE and the other board is called as Sao BLE Sense. These boards are small size, ultra low power, Bluetooth development board. One of the boards features onboard Bluetooth antenna and onboard battery charging, which makes it ideal for IoT projects. The other board called Sao BLE Sense has additional features like 6 DOF IMU and a PDM microphone which make it an ideal board to run AI using TinyML and TensorFlow Lite. The top side of the board has a reset button, 6 DOF IMU, Bluetooth antenna, PDM microphone, RGB LED and power LED. On the back side of the board, there are SWD pins for debugging and reflashing bootloader using J-Link. There are pairs of pins to connect the NFC antenna and also 3.7 volt lithium-ion battery. There are 11 digital input-output pins that can be used as a PWM pins and 6 analog input-output pins that can be used as an ADC pin. It also supports UART, I2C and SPI, all three common serial ports. Now. Let's move to the practical part. First, we'll read the value of the IMU sensor from BLE Sense. For this, first connect the Type-C USB cable to the SAW BLE board. Then connect the other end of the cable to your PC. Hence, the serial communication with PC is established now. To use this IMU sensor, we need the LSM6D S3 library. This is the GitHub repository from where you can download the library. Once the library is downloaded, open your Arduino ID. Then add the library through the add zip folder. Hence, library has been added successfully. Now go to examples and here you can see seed, Arduino, LSM, 6D, S3, multiple examples. Select high level example. I copied the example code. So in this code, you can see all the details on how to read data. Now upload this code. After the code is uploaded, open the serial monitor. You can see the accelerometer, gyroscope and thermometer reading here. The X, Y and Z values for both accelerometer and gyroscope are here. Similarly, the temperature value is displayed in both Celsius and Fahrenheit. Now 
Let's design a pedometer using this IOMI sensor. To do that, you can go to the library example. In this example list, you will find the example file as a pedometer. So open this example and then upload this. Once the code is uploaded, open the serial monitor. Initially, the serial monitor will show steps as 0. Now in order to measure the steps properly, you need to put this device in your pocket and start working. In my case, I will check this module so that the calculation of the steps will be done. So more the check or more the works, the step will be added to the previous come. Now let's see the microphone embedded in Sour BLE module. It is actually a PDM microphone. This can be used for audio functions and projects. In this tutorial, we'll check whether the voice is detected or not. For this, there is a dedicated library called Arduino Mic. You can download this library and add it to the Arduino library folder using the ARG folder option. After adding the library, go to examples and select the example file as Mic Serial Plotter. Now, open the example and here you can see all the audio detection function embedded in the example. Upload this code and then open the serial monitor again. In the serial monitor, there is a random value displayed based on voice input detected. In order to visualize this audio graph, open the serial plotter. In the serial plotter, you can see the rising and falling graph based on your voice. Now, let's test the mic by speaking something. Hello, hello, hello. What's going on? Is everything fine? Hello, hello, hello. How to electronics.com? Please follow our website for more such tutorials and guide. Hello, hello, hello. So this is how the PDM microphone works. Now let's move to the mobile app users part. Now before moving to this part, you need to have proper knowledge of BLE state. You should know what does standby state means. What is advertising state, scanning state, initiating state, connection state, and synchronization state. In this example, we'll control the onboard LED using the Android application called NRF Connect. For that, go to your Play Store and search for NRF Connect app. Install this app now. So the installation is done. Now, to use BLE functionalities, you need to download a library called Arduino BLE. From this GitHub repository, download this library and add it to the Arduino library folder using add zip option. Now open the LED control example file. Here, the parameters related to establishing a connection with mobile app is well written. Now upload this code. Once uploaded, open the serial monitor. Then, on your mobile phone, open the NRF Connect app. In the app pad, when the scanning is done, the LED will appear on the app. Click on connect. So a connection is established. In the client part, three services will appear. Click on the third one as unknown service. Click on the download sign. So a hex value will appear as 0 cross 00. Now click on the upload sign. A pop-up will appear where you need to send either 0 or 1 value. If you send 0 cross 1, the onboard LED will turn on. And when you send 0 cross 0 0, the onboard LED will turn off. You can try this multiple times. So this is how you can send commands from a mobile app to control an LED. You can also check the serial monitor part. It will show you the on off status as per every command. Let's move to the next example. In this example, We'll use an analog pin to read the battery level. In the Sao BLE module, if you look at the back, you will see there are two gold plated pins. Here, you can connect a single cell lithium ion battery. The module has a battery charging chip which is internally connected to analog pin A0. Here is the code to send the battery data to the mobile app. The code has assigned BLE service and also the 16 bit UEID number. Then using the analog read function, the battery voltage is determined and using the map function, battery voltage is converted into percentage. Then using the Arduino BLE library, the battery level is sent to mobile app. 
Now upload this code to the SAO BLE board. Then open serial monitor. The BLE is activated and is waiting for a connection. Open the NRF Connect app on your phone. So, once the connection is established, the battery level will be shown in serial monitor. In the mobile app, on the client part, click on battery service. So, battery level UUID will be shown here and you can read the battery voltage here. Click on download logo. So, it's showing the value as 6%. This is the battery percentage when nothing is connected to the analog pin. Now, let's do a demo here. If you connect the 3.3V to the A0 pin and then observe the battery percentage, it will appear as 100%. Similarly, if you connect the A0 pin to ground, the battery percentage will appear as 0%. So that's all from the battery monitoring part. In the last example, we'll send the DST11 sensor data to NRF Connect mobile app. So I connected the DST11 sensor to seed saw BLE board as shown here in the circuit diagram. You can use jumper wires to connect it. Here is the code for this project part. The DST11 output is connected to the digital pin 7 of the SAO board. In BLE service, we assign two services 1100 and 1101. Similarly, we assign 2803 and 2804 as UUID numbers for temperatures and humidity values. In this part, we assign the value that is to be updated to the app and we also set the device name as TST monitor. In the loop section, we read the DST11 data and after comparison, we are sending the value to the mobile app via Bluetooth. Now upload this code. Then open the serial monitor. The BLE is active again and is waiting for connections. Once the phone establishes a connection, the temperature humidity value is shown in the serial monitor. Now go to NRF Connect app and scan it. The TST monitor will appear. So Click on connect. After connection, click on unknown service. One of the unknown service with UUID 2803 is for temperature and another unknown service with UUID 2804 is for humidity. Click on download logo. So it's showing value as 1A. Now the 1A is hex value which in decimal means 26. So the temperature is 26 degrees Celsius. Similarly, in the other unknown service, the hex value appears as 31. The 31 in hexadecimal is equivalent to 49. So the humidity is 49%. That's all for today's tutorial. Alright, the complete details of the project have been uploaded in the website of Howdo Electronics. You can get the purchase link, data sheets, source code, program and all the details on this site. In case if you have still any questions, comment down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching.